Hi guys and welcome back to Ticking Machines. So if you haven't done so, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Today we have very, very bad news. In my stupidity and not doing enough research, I destroyed my favorite watch in my collection, my L'Oreal Submariner Homage. I purchased some new hands with a blue loom in a gorgeous green ceramic vessel. This one over here. This is the old black one, this is the new one. Uh, I, this is a ceramic, I mean, a miss ceramic insert. And it's all loom, not only the pip, but all the markings are loom. So it's beautiful. Ah, and I, I was planning to make a Kermit homage. Everything went wrong. The first thing that happened with uh, was with this specifically with the ceramic vessel, which was 2.2 millimeters too thick. But I, I was able to file it down with my rotor tool and a diamond stone wheel. I mean, it worked beautifully. I was ready to start the mod, but then I decided to go to the hands, and that's where things went south. My first mis mistake is that I pulled the crown re without really making sure that it was in a proper position to be pulled out. So I think I messed the sliding pinion or the keyless work, or in fact the whole keyless work system. I'm not sure. Since it's a cheap movement, there is no documentation and very few videos on how to fix a keyless work system for the Seagull ST16, which is this one over here. So I don't think I'll be able to fix it myself, if ever. As you can see, I was really struggling to get the crown back in, but that much was already done. Next, I took the hands out, which was uneventful. Putting them back in, I was able to fit the hour hands, no problem whatsoever. Checked it and it was moving correctly. Then the minutes hand and it all went fairly well. But on the second hand, I completely failed to realize that there was a very tiny pinion inside the second spike pivot. Just in here, there's a little, very tiny rod inside of here. I, I just thought I needed to fit the minute hand spin inside the hole, but never realized it was that the, the, the pin in the second hand had a hole in it. <sighs> I'll discuss the lack of a proper loop at the end of this video. So I lost count the number of times I tried to fit the second hand, never realizing the damage was already done. As you can see in the slow motion piece, the second hand was wasn't fit correctly and when the movement started trying to move it it broke the pinion and that's why you see the hands actually flying out of the movement i found the piece of the rod around around my desk and wonder what it came from where it came from now i know and the last thing that happened is by <laughs> trying to force the the second hand back and I tripped my tool and punched one of the baton type uh, uh, markers in the dial. So I don't think I'll be able to use this dial again. And I couldn't find the marker so I could glue it back. So it's all very sad, very, very sad. But I learned a few things in this whole exercise. Number one, light touch, as light as you can. Forcing things on a delicate watch will damage things, guaranteed. Number two, solid foundation. You need a movement holder. You don't need to invest in dedicated holders for specific movements. There are cheaper options on the eBay, but if you get serious, you'll eventually get a specific one. Get a loop. 15 times at most, eight times is the absolute minimum. This is the one I have. This is a photography loop. I, I just got a new one 15 times out of eBay, very cheaply. It's like seven bucks. 
Research, read, watch videos, and read more. Try to get acquainted with the details of the movement or the watch that you're working on if possible. Chinese movements don't usually have technical manuals, but just get to watchrepairtalk.com and ask, ask and ask. They're very, very helpful. Number five, never take things for granted. If something's stiff or doesn't come off easily, it's better to ask why instead of forcing things out. Watches are very delicate machines. Number six, Chinese hand setters, the one I got, they're pretty useless since the tips has a lot of excess material. You have to cook or file down the extra stuff to make it work decently. Try manual tool instead. The Virgion is the absolute best in tools, but it's expensive. I, and I just got a three-piece hand setting tool from Amazon for 25 bucks. The build quality is quite decent. Number seven, Rodico. Rodico is your friend. Never forget to have Rodico around. There is no cheaper replacement. Get the real stuff. Made by Virgil. Yeah, well, there it, is, there it is, guys. I might be getting another movement for my Corju uh, Seamaster 300 uh, Spectre because I uh, this one has a failure with the date wheel so the Corju is gonna send me a Miora movement to replace this one so if they do I'm going to take this movement maybe replacing the date wheel and put it back in my L'Oreal hopefully restoring it to his glory because I do really really love this watch and I even got a new uh, bracelet that is coming on the mail Jeez, man, I'm so sad for this one. Well, it is what it is. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.